I just did Zorker rack pulls today and I found it to be a great overloading exercise for the upper back, some biceps, the abs, and the glutes. It's a great alternative for doing actual rack pulls with the straps and gripping the bar as hard as I could. I didn't have to load up as much weight as I did for the actual rack pull above the knee. And I just worked up to uh, 475 for one rep. And then I just called it a day. I could have possibly done a little bit more, but it was almost time for me to go to work. And this is only the second time I've done Zerker rack pulls. I do a lot of other variations of rack pulls, but to overload with that much weight, it was the first time I've done 475. Last time I attempted a Zerker rack pull above the knee, almost equivalent to um, a rack pull above the knee with a grip, I was using a barbell pad and it made it very hard to do more than 315. And first time I did 315 with the barbell pad on, I actually dropped it. Doing 475 without the barbell pad, like I was able to do it, even though it was more painful, but it was the tolerance uh, I developed over time. And doing 475, it was a lot more painful than when I was doing uh, 275 for a Zerker carry. Zerker carry with a thicker bar. I might practice that in the future because uh, if they do Zerker carries in the competitions, the bar is uh, a lot thicker. Or when they do it with the yoke that has the Zerker carry bar, the bar is a lot thicker. And when the bar is a lot thicker, it is a lot harder to carry the item, whether by hand or whether using the Zerker style.